Okay, let's continue uh, with our um, heap building procedure and then uh, we'll analyze it. So suppose that um, uh, we want to build a, a maximum heap, right? a complete binary tree that satisfies uh, a maximum uh, heap property. And uh, so we have an array uh, from 0 to n minus 1, and n is the number, of, uh, the length of that array. Uh, so as uh, we uh, have uh, seen before, we're going to uh, find the index of the rightmost non-leaf node which is the floor of n minus 2 minus 1 and then we're going to go left to the root and um, uh, for every uh, non-leaf node uh, we uh, will call this procedure uh, sibdel which uh, the job of this procedure is to find the proper place uh, of that node either in the left subtree or uh, the right subtree in the worst case it's going to be pushed down or sifted down all the way to the uh, leaf level so what do we do? We compute the indices of the left child and the right child to i plus 1 uh, and rc is to i plus 2, right? i is the, uh, uh, the, the index of that node. Then the maximum value, the value of the maximum child is going to be, uh, or the parent, is going to be set to uh, the current the value of the current node and uh, max i is the value of the maximum node of the three, uh, the parent, the left child and the right child. So if the uh, left child index is within the bound within the boundaries of the array and it is greater than the uh, value of the parent, then uh, we assign the maximum value to the value of the left child a of l of c and the maximum index uh, to the uh, to l c the index of the left child, and then we'll do the same. Uh, we'll check the right child and do the same if it happens to be greater than the current value of max v. Okay, so let's continue over here. Uh, so if max i is not the same as i, so we need to swap and then recursively call sieve down uh, on the new value of max i because the uh, the heap property may not be satisfied uh, at that level. Um, okay, so this is the continuation of that code at the same level of indentation as uh, the two uh, if statements. Okay, so. Let's, uh, let's continue um, uh, with the asymptotic analysis. Um, so uh, let's say that we have a complete binary tree, right? The worst case happens when the tree is complete, right? Every single level we have to do the most amount of work when um, uh, the positions at each level uh, are filled. Okay, so uh, let's say we have uh, uh, a complete binary tree of height h. Uh, which means that we have uh, h uh, levels and uh, we're gonna start from the um, rightmost uh, non-leaf node and go all the way up the root and it, if it's a, if it's an array then uh, we're going um, uh, from the uh, uh, the index of the from the last parent node to the mm, to the root okay left we're going left uh, from the last non parent uh, uh, from the last parent node to the root. So um, the levels, uh, right? So we um, are gonna go uh, from level zero to level h minus one, right? Um, well, it's actually since we're representing this as a summation, so we're going from l zero to uh, l l is level h minus one. In reality, we're going the other way around from h minus one to uh, to zero, but since this is a sum, we have to uh, represent it as a legal mathematical sum. So at each level, uh, we have to work with uh, 2 to the L nodes, right? Because in a complete binary tree, uh, at level L, there are uh, 2 to the L nodes. Now, if you look down at the sift, uh, sift down procedure, um, so uh, we have to call, in the worst case, sift down uh, on every node, right? of the of the two to the L nodes, right, at level L. So the sift down procedure um, does some constant amount of uh, work um, uh, through assignment and comparison and uh, uh, array indexing, right? So we can just chalk it up as uh, as some constant uh, constant amount uh, k. Now. And then there is, after the swap, uh, there is a recursive call, okay? So in the worst case, that recursive call has to go all the way down to the uh, leaf level, right? Well, actually, all the way down to the 
um, uh, the, 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 the last level, right? Uh, the last but one level. And so if we are at level H, right? Uh, I'm sorry, at level L. Uh, so how many levels down do we have to uh, do we have to go? Uh, well, we have to go um, H minus L. Right. Well, again, technically, um, that um, is H minus L minus one because we don't have to work on the leaf level. But to make um, this summation nicer to work with, we can just assume that it's uh, H minus L. So if we are uh, uh, at uh, level zero, then we have to go down H levels, and at level one we have to go H minus one levels, and so forth. So let's work with this sum. So K uh, jumps out, and then the sum is split uh, into two. It's the sum of uh, two L times L, uh, two, A, two to the L times H, minus uh, two to the L times uh, L. Okay, and both go from uh, L equals um, L0 to H minus 1. So uh, let's continue with this. Well, the first uh, sum simplifies to h times um, 2 to the h minus 1 plus 1 uh, minus 1 over 2 minus 1. So it's h times 2 to the h minus 1. And uh, the second sum simplifies to h minus 2 times to the h plus 2. Okay. And, um, well, this sum um, um, can be closed with this formula. Well, let's just state it over here. It's uh, um, i times 2 to the i from i um, equal um, to 1 to um, n. So i times 2 to the i. This is equal to n minus 1, 2 to the n plus 1 plus 2. So then if we plug in, uh, instead of n, h minus 1, we get h uh, minus 2 times 2 to the h plus uh, 2. Okay, so we get uh, k uh, times h times 2 to the h minus h. And here we have uh, h times um, uh, 2 to the h minus 2 times 2 to the h plus 2. Okay, multiplying it all out. Okay, and um, so it's h times 2 to the h minus h minus h times 2 to the h plus uh, 2 times 2 to the h minus 2. Okay, now, um, what is h? In a complete binary tree, the height is equal to log 2 of n. Well, technically, it's uh, uh, the floor of log 2 of n, but uh, let's just, for the sake of simplicity, uh, stay with um, reals, log 2 of n. Okay, so uh, let's uh, plug that value into, um, in here. So first of all, these two cancel, and um, so we get k. n, because 2 to the log 2 of n is equal to n minus log of n minus 2. And so this is theta of n. So it's linear in the number.